Welcome to another guide to new mods for Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. CLEP. Let me first start off with an apology. Um, I apologise, this was supposed to have been posted last night. However, a family situation took hold, which I had to deal with. Um, so this is being posted uh, today, Tuesday. Instead, there may well be mods later on today. I don't know. We'll see. But what do I have for you today? So Monday the 11th. Um, and we have four mods, I think it is. Yeah, four. One's kind of a pack. Um, there was an update for the Lime Station by Stefan 1997. I think the update allows for it to be placed closer to other placeables and other objects, I think, was what the update was there. Um, so what do we have today? Um, I'm going to start off with, I think, the background stuff first, the glaringly obvious huge concrete constructions. We have um, a bunker silo pack, in essence. Um, this is by RB Modding, and there are three available. If we very quickly uh, have a look into placeables, they are under silos, obviously. And we scroll along until we get to them. So we've got bunker silo closed. Now, the difference, the difference between closed and open, if you're unaware, if you're new to the game, new to the franchise, that kind of thing, these ones here are open silos. They're open at either end. You can drive right the way through to unload, load, whatever it is you're going to do. Um, a closed silo, obviously, as you can see, is closed off at one end. So you kind of back up to put stuff into it um, or over the side wall if you can or whatever you're using to actually put your chaff um, into it. So we've got closed silos. Now price wise they're not too bad. Bad. We've got bunker silo closed small, middle and we've got big. The small is 20,000 uh, then 30,000 then 40,000. Price wise if you've got the space I'd go for the biggest one because for 40 grand you're getting a lot of bunker for your money um, when we go and look at the kind of in-game ones I know these are double ones some of these if we get down to the slightly smaller ones I suppose they're equitable prices I think the smaller one of the mods is equitable to the medium so the prices are pretty good I have to say um, as for capacities that's a little bit trickier now that says one slot they are actually only one slot each to place um, so I have placed one of each so they're one slot regardless um, which I think is pretty good, really. It's not going to really eat into your, your budget of slots. Um, so the first one is the smaller one. Now, this says on the Mod Hub, 7 by 30 metres. It says MT. So I assume that just means metres. Um, so it's 30 is the length that way, or the depth, depending on how you look at it, and the width is 7. So we've got a width of 7 here, and it goes back 30 meters now it doesn't give you a height so i don't know what the capacity is if i put this um option on help window at the bottom it says fill level chaff and compacting but it never ever actually gives you a capacity for it so i don't actually know what the capacity is all i can tell you is the length and width so yeah seven by thirty this one if we climb up on the wall of this one you can see the one next to it has got a slightly higher wall and the larger one has got an even slightly higher wall as well so as far as capacity goes i'm not 100 percent certain all i can do is just give you the sizes so this one's twenty thousand uh the one next door is a slight bit wider uh, this one is 12 metres by 30, so it's 12 across the opening here and 30, so the same sort of length or depth as this one, but a little bit wider, and it stands a little bit taller, so the capacity is obviously going to be more. And then for 40,000, we've got the Monster. Uh, this one is 25 metres across by 50 deep. So, uh, yeah, fair old size bunker, this one. And like I say, the prices aren't too bad at all, so it's nice to have, again more selection more options in game um if doing chaff and and silage is your thing then you might be interested in placing some of these i think until the next update comes out um because the silage prices at the bgas are still not fixed they're they're not paying out what it says they should be paying out um that's why kind of on my let's plays i've held off a little bit doing silage to sell yet because obviously it's a little bit off but anyway uh they're very nice, nicely textured, 
they look like concrete they're well put together as far as it goes for actually putting things in them i don't know if your chaff will bleed out through the walls it shouldn't do generally speaking the mods are pretty good now we don't have issues like that um what I will stipulate now is if you have any issues with any of the mods, when I do the mod reviews, I review them based upon what I see in front of me. I'll test them out, have a bit of a fiddle around with them. Any glaringly obvious issues, I will kind of bring to your attention. But as you use these things, if there are issues, I will just reiterate this again. Posting it on the comments of my video, it's not going to make any difference. I, I can't do anything about the mod itself. If the modder has a website and they're open to comments and feedback, go directly to the modder don't complain to the modder just say you know i found it does this or it does that they might be able to do an update um complaining to me about it i can't really do anything about it i don't make the mod i'm just reviewing it so i just thought i would mention that right so moving on the next of our mods we have got this little beauty here this is the lizard vila or could be via i think it's vila sxhv30 this is a cultivator um, this is by Javier ZZS and Vanquish081. This will use up seven slots. Um, this is a nice one. I like, again, I like options. I like the availability. What I like, it's got like a laser etched Vila there in the... Uh, zoom in on that. It says Vila across the bit of machinery there. I like that. That's cool. Um, I will show you that in operation, but we'll have a look in store. So we go across and we'll go to, is it actually in cultivators, not disc harrows or power harrows? So on the cultivators, we'll scroll across and it is here at the end. So it's only 25,234, it's an unusual price, it's not a rounded one, but that's a 7.8 meter cultivator, which is pretty cool. So we go down and put it into context of where roughly it should be. This one here is a six meter and this one is an eight meter. So it comes between these two. Price wise, it comes even between these two. So it's a really good price for a nice size cultivator. 7.8 meters is pretty good, I like that. Um, I think it's, was it 150 horsepower, was it, it said? Yeah, 150 horsepower requirement, and it's a three point hitch one, it's not a trailed one, so this will sit on your three point hitch. You may need um, a weight on the front, possibly. Um, I've got the New Holland T7315 just to show it off. Um, not the New Holland to show off the cultivator and when I bought it out here it didn't really have any issues picking it up so but you might you might need to wait I don't know. we'll see um, there's a couple of nice little features I like on this let me hook up to it I like the fact that the rollers on the back that kind of smooth the ground out after the cultivating are flexible they do move around so when it's folded up like this when you turn cut corners they actually move on their attachments look at the way they're kind of flapping around in the back i like that it's a nice little detail it shows that they're flexible and that they're designed to move around a bit um what i think is also fantastic is the um I can never remember the name of them but on the end of the times you've got these like very sort of metalled uh oh the, yeah if you know what the name of them is put them in the the uh in the comments these are what normally wear first these metal bits on the end and they have to be taken off and replaced when they start to wear out but they look brilliant again it's that texture the detail what looks metal looks metal what looks painted looks painted it's really nice um so what we'll do we'll just do a strip across the middle we'll do why not we'll open it out like i say it's a nice width width for a nice price horsepower requirement isn't too horrendous very cool does exactly what it says on the tin so yeah there you go um, that's your lizard Vila SXHV30 by Javier ZZS and Vanquish 081 The next of the mods we're going to have a look at is the one closest to me now. It kind of makes more sense to go to this one first. Now, this in essence, um, we have this in game already, but it has been modded, hence why it's called a mod. Um, this is the Silo King Trailed Line Duo 1814 or 1814. This is by John 6530 or 6530, again, depending on how you say it. Um, and we do have one of these in game already. 
So the question is then obviously asked, well, okay, why have we got another one? What's the point? Um, if we have a look in store, this will be under animals, I think. Yep. So the in-game one is 53,000 um, to buy and it's 16,000 litre capacity. If we scroll across to the modded version of it, which we've just got in-game, it's also 53,000. That's for the baseline model though. Um, it is, how many slots is this one? Did I say it's eight slots? Um, so when we click on it, we have got some options available. We can change um, the capacity. So for 53,000, you're only getting a 14,000 litre capacity. The standard in-game one is 16, but you can change the capacity up to a 16. If we have a look at the sides of this, you'll see them changing as we go. So 14,000, 16,000 and 18,000 litre capacity. It's not monumentally huge. It's not like a, you know, 40, 50, 60,000 litre capacity, like the, the Pecon Mamouette that we had on the FS17. Um, but it's nice to have some options of different sizes, depending on the size of your farm. Um, and it does actually say on the side, 18 metres cubed, 16 metres cubed, 14 metres cubed. But the price will go up. So if you do go for the 18,000 litre one, it is an extra, oh yeah, it says there, configuration 2,000, ignore me. Uh, 1,000, yeah, so the initial one is 53,000. I apologise. Then if you go to 16,000, it's an extra 1,000, so it's 54. Then if you go to the 18,000 litre, it's 55,000. So it's a little bit more expensive, but not hugely. Um, and then we can change our wheels from standard to wides. Um, I guess to stop it sinking into the ground if you want to. But those are the options available. Um, the one I've got is the 18. Uh, now this is what I noticed. On the 14 and the 16, when you get the extension on the top, it's fine. If I go around to this side here, you'll see it says 18 metres cubed on there, no problem at all. On this side, however, this only happens on the 18 metre one though. The one's missing off there. It's a tiny little, you know, a minor decal thing. Um, on the 14 and the 16, it's fine on both sides, but that's the only thing I noticed other than that. It's pretty much like the one in-game already, but it gives you, again, a few more options. A nice, tidy mod um, from John 6530. So lastly, on our list of mods today um, is one that I'm happy to see again. This was on FS17. Um, this is the homemade IBC front tank. This is for water. This is by Not Ready. This will use up four slots to buy, and it has a 2,000 litre capacity. Again, the detail on it is, is brilliant. Really, really nice. I used this on Oakfield Farm, I think, on my Let's Play on Oakfield on FS17. If you're running a kind of small farm situation and 2,000 litres is great, what's brilliant about it as well is it's got the three-point link on here, so you can have it front-mounted or rear-mounted. So if you're feeding animals and you've got a trailer on the back with feeding or whatever, you can have this on the front as well, so you can do them both at the same time. The problem being in-game at the moment, uh, most of the water containers are all trailed. Um, so it's a nice addition to have in-game. I like that a lot. Um, again, as to water sources, I'm not too sure. There were no other options available for this. If we go back to animals again, I think it was right next to the other one we were before. Uh, it's only 1,950, which is cheap as chips. Um, and there's no options available. It's a 2,000 litre capacity. It just is what it is. As far as filling up goes, um, what I'll do if I can sneak between the, uh, the two here. Because we've got a few different options in game for filling up, there'll be water sources on the maps already, there'll be rivers and some maps and lakes and stuff. We have got the pond mod now and we also have got the water tanks and things like that. I assume it will fill up from all of them. I haven't tried filling up from all of them, but it should do. There's absolutely no reason at all why it wouldn't. So I come up to impress L3, it should now fill up. There we go. Um, so like I say, if it doesn't fill up at a pond, or I, I don't know why it wouldn't, but it should do. It should fill up at every water source. Um, I like the fact, like I say, that it's, you can have it front mounted or rear mounted, depending on what machinery you're using. Great little bit of kit. Nice to see that moved over from FS17. Um, and that's pretty much it for today's. Um, there were only four, like I say, and then the addition of the update to the Lime Station from Stefan 1997. Um, I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. Um, if you have filled one of these up and know what the capacities are, please drop it in the comments. That'd be fantastic to know um, what it might actually be. 
If you have found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.